to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of prayer. Bow your heads. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this auspicious gathering today, for your tender mercies, for your loving kindness, and for being ever present in our lives as we have been guided, have, as you have guided us through this vital task. We know that we can do nothing without you, but we can do all things with you. Father, we ask that you bless the staff that has worked so tirelessly to help us accomplish our goal. Continue to bless us with the knowledge, skills, insights that, are, that were acquired throughout our educational journey. We are depending on you to allow us to apply what we have gained for the good of all humanity. Allow us to be the servants that you purposed as nurses to carry out the practice of our profession faithfully and obediently so that you will get the glory. In our doing so, Father, we humbly ask that you enable us to be the change that others will see in this world. We ask this and all other needful blessings in your darling son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Oh my. Here we are. Good evening. Earlier I was asking some of my colleagues if uh, I was going to give the what to do in case of tornado directions during this evening's ceremony, but it looks as though the storm has passed and you will not be receiving those directions. But if it does whip up again, just follow a staff member and we'll take care of you and get you to the, get you to the proper place to keep you safe. On behalf of the Tri-County Board of Education, administration, faculty, and staff, welcome to the 2021 Nursing Pinning Ceremony. This evening's purpose is to celebrate our graduates' achievements and remember those who laid the foundation for their success. First, let me recognize and thank the educators, the Tri-County Tech Board members, spouses, parents, graduates, families. You know, earning a Tri-County Tech credential is a significant achievement in any student's life and a milestone for family and friends. I also want to welcome a warm congratulations to our graduates here seated on the front row. You know, the pinning ceremony is a longtime tradition and each of you has earned an important milestone by being here tonight. You know, in a year of ever-changing COVID, COVID protocols, intermittent distance learning, and crazy weather phenomenon, you persevered. You persevered, you're still, you're still here. You know, the pinning ceremony marks a tradition that takes you from graduates to professional nurses. The ceremony is a time-honored tradition, and it signifies your official initiation into the sisterhood and brotherhood of nurses. You can trace the history of this tradition way back to the Crusades of the 12th century, during the time when the Knights of St. John the Baptist tended to injured crusaders. When the caregivers were initiated into the order, they vowed to serve the soldiers and they were given a Maltese cross, the first badges given to those who nurse. Whether you're a new nurse or a seasoned nurse, it's always interesting to look back at the history of the nursing profession. Your accomplishments this evening, students, have not come without many sacrifices, tremendous effort, and dedication. How you have responded to these unique circumstances is more important and more defining and more lasting than the circumstance yourself. 
you know, when you started back in July, I bet you didn't know that you were going to be giving COVID vaccinations to our staff, including me, including myself. One of you gave me my vaccinations, and I appreciate that very much. You know, when you look back on this time, be proud of how you emerged from this challenge. Your families are proud of you. Your teachers are proud of you. Tri-County Tech is proud of you. And I am so very proud of you. Congratulations and best wishes on your professional careers. My name is Jennifer and I am a student of the graduating class of Tri-County Tech's 2020 to 2021 Practical Nursing Program. I would like to welcome our distinguished guests, family, faculty, and friends for joining us tonight. I would like to also extend a thank you as a member of this program to all of those who are so generous to help make this program possible for so many of us tonight. Thank you to the Tri-County Tech Foundation, the Oklahoma Home and Community Education Group, the Oklahoma Chapter of PCE and PEO, the Career Tech Foundation, and the community of Bartlesville for providing scholarship funds and opportunities for each of us in the program. I want to also extend a thank you to all of those who helped make this journey possible for each of the students here tonight. From family to faculty, your help and guidance along the way is irreplaceable. I would like to give a little insight into the students we have here tonight and what this program has looked like the past 10 months. We have several students who are full-time moms, raising kids while also going to school. Students who have continued to work full-time during the program to support themselves. We have students who have lost grandmas and grandpas, received bad news about parents and those we love the most. Some of us have lost jobs, had to start new ones, moved houses, carried babies and lost babies, gotten sick and gotten really sick, and so many more battles along the way. And we all sit here tonight ready and eager to celebrate this huge milestone. Please know that each of the students here tonight have fully earned this. We have worked probably harder than we ever have before to get to this point. Our journey to becoming nurses began on August 4th, 2020, one of the hardest times in almost every person's life. From the beginning, we are forced to accept change with no warning and we learn very quickly how to be resilient. In the last 10 months, we have completed hundreds of hours of clinicals and virtual simulations. We have transitioned from in-person class to being virtual several times, and we have persevered through it all. While history was being made nationwide this past year, we were in the classroom making history of our own, learning how to be nurses in a time when being a nurse is the hardest thing that you could do. To the women celebrating tonight, know that beyond this point, you will continue to make differences in so many people's lives. Each woman in this room tonight will go on to be a part of so many endeavors. Whether those special moments be scratching an itch your patient can't reach, taking a little extra time to listen to what they have to say, holding the hand of a patient as they get the news that they have cancer, washing the face of a patient whose family is at bedside trying to decide how to say their final goodbyes, delivering babies, making boo-boos and cuts all better, distracting little ones as a terrifying needle is heading their way, or just telling someone that I'm in this with you. Each of these moments are as significant as the other, and you will get to be the nurse that makes all the difference. Your sacrifice, love, and acceptance is going to take you so far. Tonight we get to close a chapter that changed all of our lives. We made sacrifices big and small, gave up time away from our family and friends, and showed true dedication to what our futures mean to us. Ten months ago, we came together as a group of individuals who had very little in common. Today, we walk across the stage as a group of individuals who put differences aside and learn how to work together as a team. To each of the students here tonight, I hope you know and recognize how important and special you truly are. It is now my pleasure to initiate this pinning ceremony. I am both happy and proud to be ending this journey in my life with such a great group of women, and I'm confident that we will all go out into this world and make a difference. Again, thank you for being here with us tonight.
time your graduate will be receiving their pin, and um, the person that's responsible for pinning your graduate, when you see them step forward to the stairs, just meet them at the bottom of the stage. All right, Trinity. Pinning Trinity today is her mother, Angela. Trinity would like to thank her family for support, supporting her through nursing school and for always pushing her to be the best she can be. She would also like to thank the Tri-County Tech Foundation for the scholarship she received. Lastly, Trinity would like to thank her classmates for helping her anytime she needed and for always encouraging her. Samantha Beeson. Pinning Samantha today is her husband, TJ. Samantha would like to thank him for all his support in helping her achieve her dreams. She would not have made it this far without him. Samantha would also like to thank her father, Rodney, for always setting high expectations and for always pushing her to do better. She would also like to thank Tri-County Tech Foundation for the scholarship she received. Lastly, Samantha would like to thank the instructors. They taught us values, good go beyond, care plans, and in-click strategies. You are the nurses we aspire to be. Thank you for holding us to the highest standards of excellence to make sure we reached our full potential. Celine Bullock. Pinning Celine today is her mother, Alicia. Celine would like to thank her friends and family, especially her mom, Cassidy, and Rita, for continuing to push her and support her through this program. Celine would also like to thank the instructors for their support and truly believing in each of them. It truly means the world to have instructors who care about you and your dreams. Finally, she would like to thank the Tri-County Tech Foundation and the Career Tech Foundation for the financial support and the Otha Grimes Scholarship. Bonnie Fiore. Penny Bonnie Fiore today is her fiance, Travis. Bonnie would like to thank her fiance, mother, and soon-to-be in-laws for always standing by her side, pushing her to do her best, and helping in every way they could. Bonnie would also like to thank her son, Liam, and her bonus kids, Landon and Emily, for giving her reasons to keep pushing forward to provide the best future and something they could be proud of. She always thanks her friends, instructors, and preceptor for all the time and effort they put into her success and for all the helpful tips, like laminating your nursing school notes to prevent the ink from running due to all the tears. <laughs> Lastly, Bonnie would like to thank the Tri-County Tech Foundation and the wonderful ladies of PEO for the scholarship opportunities provided. Mariah Hagabush. Pinning Mariah today is her husband, Dylan, and her son, Carson. <laughs> Mariah would like to thank her husband for being her strongest supporter and encouraging her to not give up throughout her nursing school journey. She is grateful to her family for sacrificing the last 10 months in order to better their lives and looks forward to what her nursing future holds for their family. Mariah would also like to extend her gratitude to her teachers for setting realistic expectations and continuing to provide feedback to enable her to become a superior nurse and patient advocate. Jessica Hip. Pinning Jessica Hip today is her instructor, Christina Burchett. Jessica would like to thank her children, family, and friends for supporting her through the program and helping her achieve her dreams. She would also like to thank Tri-County Tech Foundation, the Otha Grimes Foundation, and the OHCE Scholarship Committee for the scholarship she received. Most importantly, she would like to thank her mother, Carol, and she hopes she has made you proud. Suzanne King. Pinning Suzanne today is her mom, Margaret, with her husband, David. Suzanne would like to thank her children, grandchildren, and countless friends in the medical field for being her driving inspiration for completing this course. 
A huge thank you to her mother, Margaret, for sacrificing many hours away from her and missed shopping trips. Also, she would like to express her gratitude to her husband, David, for putting up with the countless hours of study and takeout dinners. She would like to acknowledge the Otha Grimes Scholarship Fund and Tri-County Tech for their financial support. She would also like to applaud the hard work of all the instructors and the support staff for the nursing program. Pinning Paige today is her fiance, Colton. Paige would like to thank Colton and her family for always supporting her and believing in her even when she didn't believe in herself. Paige would also like to extend a special thanks to the Tri-County Tech Foundation for the scholarship they provided. Lastly, Paige would like to recognize all the instructors that have provided so much guidance and encouragement throughout this last year. Paige states that she would not have made it this far without the support from everyone. Cassidy Mandershay. Pinning Cassidy today is her mother, Stacy. Cassidy would like to thank her family for always encouraging her, supporting, and pushing her to be her best. Cassidy would also like to thank her children, Mason and Olivia. They are her greatest motivation. She would also like to thank her family and the Tri-County Tech Foundation for their financial support and her instructors for their multiple hours spent inside and outside of the classroom. She would like to thank them for always making her education a priority. Lastly, Cassie would like to thank her classmates for their countless hours spent studying with her, especially her friend Mariah. She would like to say thank you for your constant support. She could not have made it through the program without you. Teriyaki Powell. Pinning Teriyaki Powell today is her husband, Michael. Terry would like to thank him for his unwavering support, patience, and love as she diligently persevered through nursing school this past year. Also, in their absence, Terry would like to thank her immediate and extended family for their endless encouragement that kept her sane, and to her guardian angel, her mother, who is smiling down from heaven at her great accomplishment. In closing, she would like to express her appreciation for scholarship support from the Otha Grimes and Francis Tuttle. She would like to thank Tri-County Tech instructors for the wonderful learning experience and our classmates for enduring together on this remarkable journey. Hannah Snellbaker. Pinning Hannah today is her husband, Cody. Hannah would like to thank him for the constant encouragement and support. She would also like to thank her parents for always pushing her to be the best she can be and inspiring her to follow her dreams. She would like to thank the rest of her family and friends for listening to her many complaints and fears and never losing faith in her. Lastly, she would like to thank all of the amazing instructors she had who put in so much work to make sure their students succeeded. Without their constant guidance, none of us would have made it to this day. Victoria Stover. Pinning Victoria Stover today is Susie Cox, her bonus mom. Victoria would like to especially thank her angels in heaven, her best friend Trista, her niece, and her sister for always <laughs> believing in her. She would also like to thank the Tri-County Tech Foundation, the Cherokee Nation Tribal Services, and Dr. Godfrey for all the support they gave her. She is forever grateful to her instructors and classmates for all the compassion they showed and wisdom she gained from them. Jennifer Tom. Pinning Jennifer today is her husband, Jesse. Jennifer would like to thank Jesse for everything he has done to make this journey possible for her and for sacrificing so much of their time to make her dreams come true. She would like to thank her family for always being her biggest cheerleaders and supporting her through every journey she takes. She would also like to thank her friends for being there to help whenever she needed it. Additionally, Jennifer would like to thank the Tri-County Tech Foundation and Otha Grimes Foundation for providing scholarship funds for her and making, sorry, to her and making completing this program possible. 
Lastly, Jennifer would like to thank all of the instructors in the program. Without their guidance and support, she would not have made it this far, and their dedication is irreplaceable. Bailey Van. Pinning Bailey today is her father, John. Bailey would like to thank OHCE and the Tri-County Tech Foundation for the scholarship opportunities given to help her succeed financially through this program. Along with a big thank you to the faculty at Tri-County for allowing the flexibility needed to be able to finish nursing school, even in a pandemic. She would also like to thank her husband, Zach, for always encouraging Bailey to follow her passion and supporting her along the way. And thank you to her parents for always pushing her to be the best version of herself. Without all the support and help from Bailey's family and friends, the past 10 months, today would not have been possible. And to her biggest fan, Blair, thank you for being the reason she keeps going, even when things get hard. Casey Wiswell. Pinning Casey today is her mother, Heather Duncan. Casey would like to thank her entire family for their emotional support, especially Heather and Alan. Without them, she couldn't have finished the nursing program. Also, to Tri-County Tech's Child Development Center workers, Cheyenne and Miss Jasper, for taking amazing care of her son, Aiden, while she was in school five days a week. She truly felt her son was well taken care of. Thank you to Brenda Kreitz from Kansas, Work Kansas Works for assisting Casey in receiving the scholarship for her education and to Casey's fiance, Colton Perkins, for the emotional support and help with Aiden. He was understanding when she needed to study and helped pick up the slack. Without him, Casey wouldn't have been able to go to multiple clinical rotations and attend her preceptorship. It takes a village. Also, Casey would like to thank all of the faculty of the nursing program for constantly working with her and supporting her throughout the hard times while going through school. You all were more than understanding. Thank you for her education and accomplishments.
<clears throat> Good evening. My name is Mariah Hagabush. I remember the first day of nursing school. It was a mix between excitement and sheer terror. If you would have told me I would have had to work this hard to stand in front of you today, I probably wouldn't have believed you. I also didn't know that my tears could replenish, and I think at one point I may have been crying tears of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> the last 296 days have been a true roller coaster. There have been ups and downs, successes and failures, class quarantines, those were really good times. What started as a group of 22 nursing students slowly dwindled down to the mere 15. Some of us experienced a great deal of loss along the way while some of us were blessed enough to bring new life into our homes. Many of us gained a, a friend for life while others rekindled old friendships. I would like to extend my supreme gratitude to the staff and teachers that made the last 10 months possible. <clears throat> COVID did not make this an easy feat and your adaptability is a trait we desire in nurses. You have empowered us with the, fun the basic fundamentals of nursing to make sound judgments and have provided us with the installation of knowledge far beyond what a text co textbook could teach. Thank you for guiding me to this podium today and being the inner voice I hope to hear as a nurse. Albert Einstein once said, life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. As some of you continue your journey forward, I hope you continue to aspire to become the nurse you would want caring for your family and advocating for their health and wellness. There are two solid pieces of advice that I hope to promote to you tonight. Number one. Always remember to express your gratitude. You didn't get here alone. Your support system was crucial to your own success as much as you were. Number two, remember to show yourself grace when you begin as a nurse. There will be hard days, and with those hard days, you may ask yourself, why did I want to be a nurse? And these, these bad days may be followed by good days. Those good days are the reason we stay and yield us with a renewed perspective on life. You may find yourself swaddling a newborn infant, listening to the cries of the brokenhearted, bringing a patient back from the precipice of death, or holding the hand of a dying man as he takes his last breath. The best nurses aren't superhuman or apathetic. They're the ones you see crying in the hallway and grieving your, life, your loss and celebrating life. Please help me congratulate one more time the graduates of the Practical Nursing Class of 2021 for completing one of the most challenging and demanding programs one last time. Um, so, we're going to wing that. Um, you guys, I'm so proud of you. Um, you have persevered things that none of us imagined when you started this 10 months ago. Um, we thought we knew what might happen and we had no idea. Um, we didn't know if you'd have this painting ceremony tonight or not due to weather, um, due to COVID, due to all kinds of things. But you have persevered and we're so proud of you and we're looking forward to hearing what happens to you once you graduate. So with the powers vested in me, if you guys will please stand. By the powers vested in me by Tri-County Tech Board of Education, I would like to pronounce you graduates of the 2021 Spring Practical Nursing class. You may change your tassels.
and will not take or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I will do all in my power to maintain and elevate the standard of my profession and will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and all family affairs coming to my knowledge in the practice of my calling. With loyalty will I endeavor to aid the healthcare team in this work and devote myself to the welfare of those committed to my care. 